There's a conversation going on in heaven. Father, Son and Holy Spirit all talking about how to create a world full of people who will be made in their own image. That means people who will be like them in character, nature and in lifestyle. And people who will be the same as them in the ways they think, the way they perceive and the way they speak. I love to imagine them all smiling and talking about how they're going to create all of us to be glorious. Because of course, Father, Son and Holy Spirit are surrounded by glory and they want to impart that glory to their people. They want to provide an atmosphere and an environment for people to come and share their glory in this world that they're going to create around them. So all of that language, that perception, that thinking has been poured into our very lives as a result of Jesus dying for us on the cross. Now we're vulnerable to glory, we're vulnerable to majesty, and we're learning about the glory of God, the goodness of God, and of course the power of God. So the question now becomes, what kind of people do we need to be in order to reflect that majesty and the awesomeness of the goodness and the power of God? That is what mind of a saint is all about. How do we think about ourselves? How do we see ourselves in the light of what scripture says about us? And what is the language that we need to develop in order that we may speak out of all the things that God is speaking over us? This is a world that's really hungry to learn about glory and majesty because they need redemption from where they are to where God has placed us. Mind of a Saint itself was an amazing event, a real turning point for me as a teacher. Through it, you will learn to discover what it means to be a saint according to the way that God thinks.